Good morning. I read this very sad story about this old lady here in Sweden. She was in, she is in a nursing home and she got the shot and then she was so happy because now she was allowed to meet her grandchildren again. That's what she thought. Yeah, the staff told her, of course, no, we can't allow this. And she was so disappointed. She thought that, you know, I just do what they tell me and everything will be back to normal. Uh, I listened to this guy Fauci again, this idiot Fauci. He said there are things, even if you had the shot, that you're not going to be able to do in society. For example, indoor dining, theatres. You know, this whole spectacle, I think it will be good for people. We know that there are sheep, of course, lots of sheep. And we know that there are some lions. But I think a lot of people will realize that they can't leave it up to these bureaucrats to run their lives. They have to realize this. It's my life. You can't leave these bureaucrats in charge of your life. You make the decisions. You see? It's, uh, this is very basic about life, isn't it? Who is in charge? Well, it's you, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I would never leave it up to the bureaucrats. Never. I will never wear a mask. Not in a million years. I will not take the shot. You know. And we have friends coming over. They sleep over. We share food. Uh, we hug. You know. It's my life. And me and my girlfriend, we went to visit friends. Uh, unannounced. Knocked on the door. They invited us in, we were sitting in the kitchen, they gave us something to eat, it was very pleasant. And we talked for maybe an hour, yeah, no problem. People have to understand this, that they are trying to scare you, yeah, so that they can control your life. People have to understand this, and they will have to say no to it. I yeah. uh, have some good news. This is from North Dakota again. Seems like a good state. North Dakota. Right. Uh, the House of Representatives in North Dakota voted to make mandates on wearing face masks illegal. And they voted in favor and now it will advance to the state Senate. It was approved. There's a comment here from this guy, Jeff Hoverson, a Republican. He said, the mask mandate instituted by the state governor last year is a diabolical silliness. Huh. He said, our state is not a prison camp. He also said that uh, these mandates are being enforced by unelected wealthy bureaucrats who are robbing our freedoms and perpetuating lies. Brilliant. We need much, much, much more of this. Yeah. But the most important thing is, you know, people, they have to understand. They are in charge of their lives. They make the decisions. They can't leave it to these bureaucrats. That's all.